This video is to get you started with Socrative on the iPad. And Socrative is one of my favorite student response apps. It's free. Uh, many people that are taking this course will choose to use this for the project that goes with this session of the course. Um, I do have some videos below uh, this section of Socrative about eClicker. That is a paid app. It's $15.99. If you don't want to learn about it or see what it does, uh, that's fine. You can use Socrative to complete the project. So for the iPad, you're going to need two apps. And I just go to the App Store and I search Socrative and I see a student clicker app. That's what the kids are going to need and a teacher clicker app, Socrative, that's what you're going to need. From this app, it's going to make you create an account, and it's a free account with Socrative. And from the app, you can create quizzes, you can run quiz sessions, uh, you can do quick polls, you can do everything from the app from the teacher perspective. The students do not need to create accounts. That's what I like about it. They're just going to need your room number that gets created when you create your teacher account. But one of the biggest positives about Socrative is that you can run it from a computer. Students can download this app to an iPod, iPad, iPhone, or other mobile devices, or everything can be run from this teacher or student end from a computer if you just go to Socrative.com. Okay? Socrative.com works the same exact way as the app will on the iPad. So whether I'm run showing you these things from the computer or from the iPad, it works the same exact way. If you try to log in as a teacher to that teacher app, it's going to force you to set up an account anyway. So if I click teacher login or t student login or teacher sign up if I haven't signed up yet, the login pages bring you to this screen. Okay. Now since I am a teacher, I have an account and I log into my account. I click I am a teacher and it's going to have me put in my email address and password and it's going to take me to this screen. Okay. This, is my, this is my dashboard and this is my room number. This is the room number that the kids need no matter where they're at. They can be on a class set of laptops, they can be on a class set of iPads, they can be on um, they can be on iPhones if, if, you're, if, if they have the app. As long as they have my room number they can get to me. This is not done over Wi-Fi, this is done over internet connection. As long as you have a good internet connection that's not blocking Socrative, you can do this. So let's go back to being a student. If I'm a student, I click that and it just brings me to the join room page okay now the student is going to need my room number which is 740234 I have to give that to them 740234 go and they are waiting for me to start an activity okay because I haven't really done anything yet I'm still sitting at my dashboard I can choose to create a quick question, start a quiz that I already made, play a game that's a space race, or do an exit ticket or create quizzes. Okay? One of the easiest things to get started with Socrative is quick questions. Okay? Quick questions have only answers choices for the students to see. Okay? So if I want to do a quick question, it's a verbal question. It's not written with any text at all. Okay, It's just a verbal question. So let's say I click quick question from my end, and I want to give them a multiple choice and say, okay, I'm from either A, Johnstown, B, Pittsburgh, or C, Philadelphia. They don't see anything written there because it's not a pre-made quiz, but they will when you get into manage quizzes. This is just, again, for quick questions. So now let's look at it from the student end. It's showing me live results right here. From the student end, okay, it's just giving me the answer choices. And it's a verbal question. So am I from A, Johnstown, B, Pittsburgh, or C, Philadelphia? And I am from Johnstown. So let's assume this child got it right. So they click here, okay, and they click submit their answer. You've completed the current activity. That's what the student is seeing. So let's go back to the teacher, and I do see 
that 100% of the students have answered A. And again, this is verbal interaction. This is something where I'm going to have to project my screen if I want them to see the results. That's one of the criticisms of Socrative is that you know teachers will complain why well, the students can't see the results immediately well they can if you're projecting your screen whether you're using a computer or you're using an iPad that might be connected to an LCD projector or through an Apple TV so when I'm done I can click finish and I can go back to doing some other things which we're going to talk about in some other videos but I thought the easiest way to get started with Socrative is with uh, just talking about the account the room number, and quick questions.